Are you wondering how you can get started with 3D animation? Well, you came to the right place. In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about 3D animation and also help you get started. There are different kinds of 3D softwares you can use, but I recommend Blender. Blender is a very powerful free software that you can download now and start creating some animation. Anyway, download it now and I will show you some basics. When you're done downloading and installing Blender, click General to create a 3D workflow. On your world view, you will always find a default cube. Many people like to delete it and add it again, but now let's keep it. I'm sure you tried moving the cube around, but then this happens. It's okay, I also had the same experience. To navigate, use this tool on your top right corner. Or, you can also click your mouse scroll wheel. When you rotate forward the mouse scroll wheel you zoom. When you rotate backward, you unzoom. When you click and move the mouse, you will be able to view your cube from different sides. What if you want to change the position of the cube? You can use the move tool. The green arrow will move the cube on the y-axis, a red arrow will move the cube on x-axis, and the blue arrow will move the cube on the z-axis. You can also use G on your keyboard to drag. You can also rotate the cube with the rotation tool. Green circle will rotate on the y-axis, red circle will rotate on the x-axis, and the same thing on the z-axis. To bring the cube back to its original position, go to Object and Clear Rotation. You can also clear the location. You can also use the scale tool to change the size of an object. And you can also clear the scale. To start being creative you have to change from object mode to edit mode on your top left corner. In edit mode, you can start creating some custom shapes. You can create anything you want whether it's a 3D character or a house. Create anything you imagine. The sky is the limit. In edit mode, you have to know these three options. There is the vertex select option that will allow you to move a single vertex of your object. Is an edge select option to select and move edges. <music> Lastly, you can also use the face select tool to move the whole face of an object. Want to be more creative, there is Sculpt option that will allow you to sculpt custom shapes. But the Scalp tool will not work if you have a few faces. Just like in our case now, a cube has only 6 faces. To be able to sculpt, go back to Edit Mode. 
press A on your keyboard to select all faces, and then right-click and select Subdivide. In your bottom left corner, you will see Subdivide option. Click the arrow to open the settings, and then increase the number of cuts. When you add more and more cuts, the software will be slower. In Sculpt Mode, there are many tools that you can use. You have to try them yourself to see how they work. When you are done creating your 3D object, you can start shading your object. Go back to Object Mode. On your top right corner, you have Wireframe Viewport Shading, which allows you to see all your object's outlines. You also have Solid View. Solid View is used for modeling. When you are still modeling your object you can use Solid View to have a faster workflow. You also have Material Preview. In Material Preview, you are able to see the color of your object. In our case the color of our object is white. We can change it. 